Hi friends, welcome to Muse at Home today for Steam Sprouts. We're reading Planting a Rainbow by Lois Ellett. Planting a Rainbow. It's got me stuck. Every year, Mom and I plant a rainbow. In the fall, we buy some bulbs and plant them in the ground. We order seeds from catalogs all winter long. Look at all the color. For spring to warm the soil and sprout the bulbs. Do we even get some beautiful flowers? Then it's time to go to the garden center and select some seedlings. We sow the seeds and set out the plants in the soil. and watch the rainbow grow and grow and grow. We have some red flowers, some orange flowers, some yellow blooms. We grow something green And some blue flowers and some purple flowers too. All summer long we pick them and bring them home. And when summer is over we know we can grow our rainbow again next year. Now I'm going to show you a way that you can plant some flowers. It's kind of a different way, not just putting the seeds in the regular ground. We're going to make a seed ball. Okay, here's what you need to make your seed balls. You need some packets of seeds. You need some newspaper or paper or construction paper. It doesn't really matter what kind. Cut into little squares. Then you're going to put all your paper squares in a bowl, cover it with water, let it sit for 20 minutes. After the 20 minutes is up, you're going to take your hands and squeeze the extra water out of the paper and put your paper into a food processor and blend it up. So when you're done, you're going to have paper that looks like this. It's just been a little shredded. It's still a little damp. Then what you're going to do is you're going to take your seed packet and you're going to dump your seeds into the bowl. I'm going to dump one more. So I've got sunflowers, different kinds. Okay, you're going to dump it and then you're going to use your hand to mix it around. And then you get to take a, just a, a handful and squish it into a ball. Here's what your ball looks like. There are a bunch of seeds in there. You need to let this dry overnight. Then you can plant it in your yard or in a pot that you now have on your porch or your patio. And then watch the flowers Grow. We would love to see pictures of your flowers as they grow. Um, please send them to us at the Muse. Um, have fun, and I look forward to seeing pictures of your flowers.